Hey guys, um, have made a video, so I thought I would uh, try to get one done here and uh, start catching up on some stuff. Um, this video today is going to be on uh, dual booting operating systems, or multiple operating systems in this case. Uh, something I get a question about a lot from people is uh, how to set them up and uh, what are some of the advantages, disadvantages to them. Um, this particular one is going to be on the water-cooled computer. Um, for one reason, when I modded this case, it was a mid-tower or, uh, you know, medium-sized tower case, but basically fairly small. And when we put the water cooling system in, uh, there wasn't a lot of room for a bunch of drives, stuff like that, so I just used one hard drive in here. And I wanted to be able to have room up in the, above it to uh, put a fan in for cooling. And so I didn't want to run multiple hard drives and be able to, uh, you know, put different systems on different drives. So we just went with one drive and partitioned it for uh, three different operating systems. Um, basically, any version of an uh, operating system you install, whether Windows or Linux or, you know, will give you the option to set up partitions when, uh, when you're first installing them. So in this case, we just created three different partitions. Uh, so we could put a different operating system on each partition. Um, this one can be set up basically any way you want, uh, depending on what OS you uh, want to boot to all the time. Uh, I recommend if you're doing a multiple system to basically install your oldest operating system first, like XP, uh, because your Vista and your Windows 7 and your newer Linuxes all have bootloaders in them that are going to find that operating system and give you the option to boot to it. So in this case I have uh, Windows Vista 64 and uh, Windows 7 64 and the new Ubuntu Linux 9.10 in here. Uh, basically, I'm just going to show you what the bootloaders and stuff look like. Like, I have it configured now because I want it to automatically load into Vista. That's still the one I use the most. I have all my program software, editing stuff in there. So, I want it to be able to come in and shut or turn the computer on, have it load right to uh, Vista without having to go through the menus, change the options. So we're just going to exit the BIOS here and let this start. And I'll kind of show you what, what we're going to see here. The, the first bootloader that comes up is going to be the Ubuntu one for Linux. And it's going to give us the option to either go into Linux or to boot into our Windows 7 loader. Okay, here's our, uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but that is our Ubuntu bootloader. I had it uh, defaulting to the Windows 7 loader, but that would give us a, a five second time where you could set it however amount of time you want to uh, before it actually loads. So if I decided I wanted to go into Linux, I would have a few seconds to switch the loader into Linux and go from there. But in this case, we're just going to load the Windows 7 one, so you can see how that looks. Okay. Here's our uh, two different versions of Windows, so we can either load up Windows 7 and go that way, or we can go right into Vista and load that, which is what I'm going to do. Um, some of the advantages to this is... A lot of times people think that if they only have one hard drive, they can't run multiple systems or they're worried about how they're going to configure it for one drive. Um, it's really simpler than you would think. The, the disadvantage to it is, is uh, having everything, all your content onto one drive. If that drive fails, you may lose a lot of things from the different systems. So you definitely want to do backups quite regularly to an external drive or a USB drive or another network computer so that if the drive fails you don't lose everything. But uh, one of the advantages to a multiple system is if you have a problem like a, a driver isn't working or an error or maybe even pick up a virus in one of your operating systems instead of being down and out and having to reformat, reinstall all the windows, your drivers, games, you know you could simply reboot the computer 
go into one of your other operating systems, do your mail, do whatever you have to do urgently, and it buys you time to get to that other system and repair it. But uh, this is getting kind of long-winded, so <laughs> I think I better cut it short right here. But uh, basically, that's what it looks like, and uh, that's how you set it up. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask or post any comments.